Hello, artists. Today we're going to talk about four different coiling and pinching techniques that you can use to add texture to your clay coral. So first I've pinched off a piece of clay, rolled it back and forth in my hand, and again, back and forth, back and forth with the palm of my hand and then my fingers to make a pinky thickness of a clay coil. Now, because this clay is moist, I can give it a little squish and mush to bend and twist the ends to create something that almost what I call like an accordion fold. And this might be a great texture to use for something like a brain coral, if that is what you were intending to create. Now, again, I'm gonna use another coil technique by pinching off a piece of clay, rolling a ball back and forth and back and forth until it is pinky thickness. And this time I'm going to twist it in on itself to create a spiral shape. I'll repeat this texture several times because this might be something that I'm going to use to cover the entire surface of my pinch rod. And again, I'm not scoring and slipping. I'm not doing any other techniques. I'm just experimenting today with seeing if you can artist recreate some of the exact same ones as me. So that might be really neat to put all together on the surface of your piece or combine with another. Now I'll try something a little bit different. I'm going to pinch off from my piece of clay, several about identical size pieces. I'm gonna use the palm of my hand to roll a little clay ball that I'm going to use to create, and I got this idea from our artist's video, uh, several little sphere shapes with a hole poked and widened using our wooden clay scoring tool in class. So first it can be very methodical and mindful to just make several of these little spherical shapes before I think about opening them up to create my texture or my implication, okay, my implied clay coral. So I pushed my tool in, I work it in a circle, circle, circle to open up that space like a cone. And this does really recreate, looks to me, this is my favorite, a little shape of what you would see for like a little coral polyp. These are little creatures, after all, a coral is a living thing. And each one of these is a little tiny animal that builds that uh, outside skeleton to protect them as a coral. So again, for my very last one here, I'm using the same technique. Once again, observe artists, I'm rolling these little tiny clay spheres and I'm going through producing each one first so that I have enough material to now give it a pinch, boop, boop, I'm flattening the ends of it that I'm going to maybe imply to use as a layer around my coral piece. If it was one of those antler corals that perhaps had those little platelets over the top or outside edge. So again, rolled a ball, pinching it with my fingers. You can go as thin as you'd like. And if my clay seems to crack, you can use, use that as a texture, or you can try wetting your fingers a little bit. Today is all about play and experimentation, so that you get a chance to know what you like before you go to your good copy next class. My very last piece here, what I might do is I'm even going to go further with my texture and perhaps use my clay tool to add spots or dimples or stripes into any of these pieces. So I'm thinking about again. How am I going to make this exciting on my piece or different from someone else's? So I'm using this maybe on the lip of the edge of my piece, just using my tool very simply to see if I can create these four textures. Artist, that's it. Today, I want to see, now that you've done your see, think, wonder, and we talked a little bit about corals and why they're bleaching and our artist and her inspiration, see if we can create our four types of texture that we could use for our clay coil pinch pot in the future. Feel free also with extra time, see if you can come up with a fifth or sixth one all on your own, right? How are you gonna make yours unique? Let's give this a try, artists. Good luck. Show me Mona Lisa at your table and we'll get supplies back to you now.